हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आर यू लर्निंग पाइथन राइट नाउ बट फाइंडिंग इट रियली डिफिकल्ट व्हेन यू गेट लॉट ऑफ एरर्स आर यू लुकिंग फॉर समवन हु कैन हेल्प यू टू रिजॉल्व ऑल दोस एरर्स कैन हेल्प यू एक्सप्लेन दैट कोड नाउ इफ दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच यू आर लुकिंग फॉर देन दिस वीडियो इज डेफिनेटली फॉर यू इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट chat gpt with google collab now google collab is basically a google product on which you can write python code so in this video we are going to talk about the integration part and also how chat gpt can help you resolve the code error can help you explain you the code and can help you write or maybe complete your code so let's get started but before we jump into the video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel session with sumit so let's get started so the very first thing that we have to do is to install and activate google chrome extension that can basically enable chat gpt functionalities with google collab so let's do that we will go to setting then you have to click over here and open chrome web store now here you have to find out chat gpt for google collab let's do that so chat gpt for google collab let's enter and this is the extension that you have to enable so click on this add to the chrome and add extension now here you can see that chat gpt for google chrome has been added and you do not have to do anything additional we can just simply close it now we have to open google collaboratory and if you want to launch google collaboratory you can either go to your google drive and can search for so you can click on this new and click on more and you will find out google collaboratory another way is you can simply google uh, collab.research.google.com and it will launch a new notebook for you the google collab notebook now simply do one thing uh, when you get the interface to launch a new notebook just click on new notebook and here we are done now here uh, you can see that we are getting a uh, extension a, a basically a button where you can use chat gpt uh, let me show you what a, like what all options you can use so if i write a code first of all let's connect google collab with the server and it is connected now now we'll just write a simple code so for i in range 1 comma 10 a uh, print i now let's say i want chat gpt to explain this code so i'll click on chat gpt and it will ask like what you want chat gpt to do i want chat gpt to explain and i'll click submit now here you are required to basically have a account if you already don't have a open ai account you can click on this link and you have to basically create your account if you already have the account don't you do not have to do anything additional you have to just sign in and then you will be able to use chat gpt over here but please remember one thing until and unless you are using chat gpt on your google collab please do not close this window you if you close this window the integration will not happen so i'll verify and uh, and i think i do not have to log in because i am already logged in uh, yes i am already logged in so here you can see that waiting for chat gpt response it has already started working and let's wait for the magic to happen now here you can see that chat gpt has started working on explaining the code and you have to basically wait to let chat gpt complete writing everything but it will explain you everything in detail regarding what exactly your code is doing so here chat gpt has completely explained the code in very detailed manner you can see that it has first explained the code like exactly what this line of code is doing 
followed by uh, the functionality the functionalities you can you can basically uh, use this code in different ways and it has added one example additionally what you can do so instead of just printing you can also print the square of that number and it has given you the sample code it has given you the output you can copy this you can paste it anywhere if you want to keep it as a reference for yourself but you can see that how helpful uh, this mechanism is to basically learn python because you need someone to explain you python in a very detailed way and chat gpt is actually doing or solving that purpose but this is not what all chat gpt can do let's see what other uh, functionalities or other tasks that chat gpt can help you with uh, google collab and while working with python so let's see so uh, the next thing is to debug your code so uh, let's say we have written a code for i in range of um, let's say n and uh, we have not added the indentation we have just written print i now there are two errors number one n has not been described or declared and there is no indentation i'll click on chat gpt and i'll ask chat gpt to fix this code i'll submit and let's see if chat gpt can find out the error the two added on with the two errors that we have added in this particular code so let's wait Now here we can see that chat GPT was able to identify exactly the two errors that we were having in our code. Number one, it has it is missing indentation. The second thing is it does not define the value of n and you can see that it has given you the corrected code. Uh, plus it has also mentioned that you can change the value of n as per your requirement. So you can see how helpful chat GPT is to basically uh, help you overcome your errors that you might find in your code but what else we can use with chat gpt so here we have a function known as summarize refractor and add comments so let's see what are the functionalities that these function fulfill so let's say i've written import pandas as pd and i'll click on chat gpt and i want chat gpt to basically add uh, summarize this code like what exactly this particular code is doing so please provide a markdown formatted summary of the following code this should include a brief description of what the code does it is structure and any notable feature or functionality uh, if you want to add anything additional like if you want chat gpt to give you the various variations of this code or maybe or, uh, or maybe the libraries that can do the exact same thing or maybe how we can do this without using a library you can write down those requirements over here but this is the requirement that is basically the general requirement that this particular uh, extension has done for you so i'll just click on submit and let's wait for the magic to happen So here you can see that chat GPT has given a detailed description or summary of what exactly this code is doing. So the code imports the pandas library and assign it to the alias PD and you can understand uh, the meaning behind this particular code. So there is one more functionality which is really helpful to optimize your code. Let me show you how. If I've written for i in range 1 comma 10 uh, print i now what i want chat gpt to do is to optimize this code and write a better version of this code i'll go to chat gpt i'll use refractor and i'll click submit now here you can see that for this particular code it has written a better version and it has also mentioned why it is a better version so encapsulating the code in function to make it more modular and reusable removing the loop 
variable i to num so it has removed i and it has created num uh, to make it for clarity and readability and this is really helpful when you want to learn how to optimize your codes now let's say you want to use chat gpt to write a sample code for you let's see how we can do this so i'll click on chat gpt and i'll ask chat gpt to write a sample code uh, to basically perform less comprehension so i'll just say write a sample code uh, let's do one thing let's uh, write a code and let's ask chat gpt to convert this into less comprehension print i square and let's write uh, convert the following code to list comprehension and let's click submit Now here you can see that chat gpt has basically given the uh, the version of the same code in the list comprehension way so this is how helpful chat gpt is to make your life easy when you are learning python i hope this was useful and i hope you will find it really useful when you are learning python so this was all about this particular video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you will find it really useful while you are learning python now before i end this video don't forget to share this video with your friends who are trying to learn python also ask them to subscribe to our channel session with sumit i'll see you in the next video till then keep learning